Right, you may wonder why I'm doing here today is not photography 101, so it's nothing um, educational. It's something that I would like to pick your brain onto just to see what your view on this particular issue. This is all about crowdfunding within the photography society. So crowdfunding. So this is a very interesting topic because I'm pretty sure if you're a photographer or who has that passion about you know new innovations and things like that, no doubt you're going to come across like crowdfunding options uh, and there are obviously many many sites out there but the most obvious would be the Kickstarter or the uh, the Indiegogo websites. Um, yeah, they're both running actually similar campaigns sometimes and sometimes you actually see these company do advertised in both sites and uh, funny enough uh, but the thing is I want to talk about is you know obviously you have seen some of these um, uh, recent posts by uh, you know a couple of the big channels out there Tony Chelsea DP review even Kai they all talked about one camera in particular which is the Yashica 35 um, this is not what this video is about is not about the Yashica camera although you know I would mention it simply because it's yeah obviously one of the biggest joke uh, in 2018 and uh, it's no doubt that it's, it's quite terrible um, but I want to highlight things more in general it's about concerns that I have about crowdfunding in general um, I'm not sure your experience in, in this particular thing but I just want to tell you guys you know my own experience I have been supporting the uh, photographic industry in, uh, for quite some time you know ever since the Kickstarter thing started really I've been looking out for innovations and people who have genuine really clever ideas about certain products and things like that you know I'm always quite keen about these things there are many many of course successful examples and uh, one of the biggest supporters uh, well one of the biggest company that I support is of course Lomography being a Lomographer myself um, I have supported their first ever products um, uh, on Kickstarter which was the Passable lens and uh, that was a brilliant thing I think it was a very successful campaign and then subsequently they have in, uh, introduced many many other lenses uh, also uh, instant cameras which I also backed um, yeah it, it's something that I would like to show support to people who are genuinely having that interest in photography and bringing new products out uh, yeah, so I, I'm all up for that um, and also you know there are many other companies that I also backed but the result wasn't as successful and uh, one of the failed examples was of course you've seen a couple of videos uh, already if you haven't seen them I'm gonna put the link down in the description so we check them out uh, one of which is uh, jolly good <laughs> no, not jolly good jolly look which was the um, uh, First, first ever paper Instax camera, which uh, was, was quite a failure actually, you know, at least the sample I received anyway, you know, I backed them, I thought it was quite a cool kind of toy-like idea, so now, you know, it's not, not too bad, uh, but it was still quite expensive for what it is, you know, 50 quid, uh, so it, it, was, it was something that I thought would be quite nice, but yeah, as you saw the review, then you see that it didn't really work at all, so uh, kind of money down the drain and things like that, but what frustrated me the most is sometimes when you have big companies doing campaigns like that you know and uh, there's one really good one is you know uh, uh, it's one of the products I backed was the gimbal it's a mechanical gimbal uh, invented by uh, uh, the really renowned company Steadicam you know like you know Steadicam which is the, the gimbal king really you know before all these DJI electronic gimbals Steadicam has always been around for sports you know for movie making and things like that they have massive massive um, professional backing in terms of gimbal business or stabilizations and uh, they are really big so they invented this little portable thing they're supposed to take on the DJI Osmo product um, in a lower price range and things like that but the thing is the product was very flawed you know like as I tested it you know it didn't really work uh, it worked to an extent but in, you know just not well enough for me to consider it as a professional tool um, and also it's very cheaply made and it, it just didn't really worth the price to be honest so that that wasn't really really nice and what about you know uh, some of the biggest name as well you know like uh, my optics you know and uh, that one lucky I didn't back them you know because that would cost a bomb you know that the the idea was they, they're gonna re uh, reintroduce you know one of the older classic lens you know uh, through the uh, Kickstarter campaign and that was my optics uh, one of the lenses were like going for thousands and, and hundreds of you know it's this expensive lens uh, worse still you know like they didn't even release the thing and they go busted and <laughs> so people who invested just lost their money so this is what I want to talk about today you know uh, good that you have to really see the product but what concerned me the most is basically the 
darker side of Kickstarter stuff or crowdfunding stuff. So the darker side of crowdfunding thing is, is actually quite scary, you know, if you think about it. Because, you know, I like internet and I like, you know, the openness of internet. But at the same time, you know, there is a lot of dangers, you know, because there's no regulations and things like that. Um, depending on where, which country you're from, you know, um, in the UK, for instance, we are protected by consumer laws, you know, which means that if you receive a product, you, know, you order online and things like that, you are protected. You know, if, if something just didn't work, you can return it for refund or exchange uh, within a certain period of time and things like that. And everyone will give us, a, especially uh, for the manufacturing warranty, so you have like minimum of 12 months and so forth. Um, a lot of these Kickstarter campaigns, um, they don't offer the same kind of protections. Some companies might be decent enough to say that they have 12 months manufacturing warranty so that means that you know if anything goes wrong yeah you can contact them and yeah hopefully they will repair or replace your product within that warranty period however many many cases they don't offer anything like that they actually have a disclaimer very small print at the end of the campaign they actually say that you're not covered by any sort of law whatsoever basically if anything happened to your product that was shipped to you yeah, you're done, basically. Yeah, we took your money and yeah, that that will become a paperweight. That's exactly what happened to my Steadicam gimbal that I backed. Received the whole thing. I looked online, even go to the website. They specifically highlighted if you are purchasing this product via their Kickstarter campaign, you are not protected. Okay, not even a warranty. So that means that I am totally buggered. Um, yeah, that, that not only just for uh, uh, steady candidates, for many, many campaigns, actually, they all have the same similar things. You are taking a plunt. Uh, you are going for the cheap, you know, because uh, as an early bird, you know, you support them. So you're getting a huge discount uh, for getting that particular product. Um, but in return, well, actually, you don't get much of a return, really, apart from just receiving the product. Uh, you're not protected by any means. You're not having that warranty that you normally enjoy uh, when you're buying through the retail outlets or, you know, uh, your local internet websites and things like that. Yeah, this is something that I think is quite worrying. And um, uh, as no one is governing it, and then I think for a lot of backers, you know, you have to really consider this particular point before you put your hard-earned money into that campaign. Uh, by all means, this is all a risk factor. They highlighted it from day one. You know, it's risk. Uh, product may not deliver and things like that. You know, you just have to wait out uh, whether that is something that you would like. So at this moment in time, um, I, you know, as much as I would like to invest uh, in the photographic industry, you know, in innovations and stuff like that, I don't think I'm ready to uh, put a lot of money into uh, a particular project you know uh, if they're asking me for 1000 pounds i don't think i would do it i mean i would do about 100 maybe even 200 pounds yes i would do that sort of thing depending on the company uh who's behind it and things like that you know you really have to do a lot of research um and also a word of warning there are a lot of quick money makers out there um sometimes when they generate a campaign if you actually google that particular product you may be surprised you probably find it in one of the china websites they, that's already on sale. So it's not really innovation. They don't need your money to actually launch the product. You can already buy them. I'm not joking, I've seen them. So uh, this is my video. So I'll, let me know what you think about uh, you, your view on this particular thing about crowdfunding, uh, what your experience is or what sort of thing you have backed before. And you know, let, let me know what's sort of, yeah, I'll be quite interesting to know. You know, be quite keen to learn about a few things. And I hope you find this particular video useful and uh, and helpful so uh, yeah i mean i, I will continue after if you ask me if i'm going to continue yes i will continue to back them i think that uh, everyone do deserve some sort of help and at some point and i do like to help people uh you know that's why i train photographers you know and things like that you know i do want to bring them to the next level uh and learn about more about photography and filmmaking and things like that it's, it's something that i would like to do and i enjoy to do uh for those people who like to launch a product especially interesting innovative product i will help as so long it's not one thousand uh, pounds <laughs> but anyway uh Take care, you guys, and I hope you guys have a good week. I'm going to continue testing my stuff uh, today. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. So stay tuned for this particular video. It's not about the tripod, of course. Uh, something's in my bag. So uh, until next time, 
See you then. Bye. Shoot. The road ahead, it twists and turns, and the sun beats down and it burns. But I keep, keep on pushing through. And every step quicker than the last, my feet tread down this beaten path, and I keep, keep on pushing through. Cause I get up